Hi Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. I got the message that if you have gone no contact with someone, that they are really missing you right now and thinking about you. So uh, maybe you've decided not to communicate with them anymore. It's just the feeling I got before I turned the camera on. What is going on for Pisces? Temperance. Could be doing the Sagittarius or someone is just kind of waiting. Yeah, they may view you as going in a new direction. Like you aren't uh, choosing them anymore. You're not really thinking about them anymore. You can see even the fools under the deck with that energy. You moved on. So maybe you're healing from the past. You're moving on. You're no longer going to be interested in this person. But going no contact. Ooh, things just flew out. Going no contact has really surprised them. I see you on a better path, though. The star and the sun came out together. The six of cups came out. And then we also have... Seven of coins, two of coins, and high priestess. There's something definitely you're dropping and letting go of. Or you, you're thinking about it, you know that it would be like in your best interest to do that. So maybe you could be uh, finding something new, someone new, star in the sun, put, to put your focus on. But this person in the past that feels like you're not over them, that you will be reaching out again, they just can't believe that you're not. I feel like they're actually waiting for you. They may reach out. Yeah, see, they want you to reach out. They're trying to manifest you. So they may think about you a lot. They may like hope that you know their phone will go off, that you'll or you'll send a message online or whatever. And they're acting like they're having fun. The three of cups is what I'm seeing here. Two of swords. They may be worried that you're going into another relationship. I know the deck is a hermit energy. They may not want it, like they don't want to see that. They're not really looking for someone else. Like if they are dating, because Three of Cups can be dating or just like fooling around, whatever, Three of Cups having fun, they really don't want to be in another relationship. You took in, you've taken your attention and focus off of them, and they can feel that is what I'm picking up here. It's right here, Two of Coins in reverse. You're not really, yeah, and as I stop shuffling, even the Eight of Cups, you're not really focused on them anymore, and it bothers them in a way I don't think they're expecting to feel this. Two of Wands. Yeah, you aren't pursuing them. If you have a thought about them, you probably push it out of your mind. And again, maybe something has come into your life where you are more focused on yourself or your work or a friend or, you know, going on vacation. It could be a lot of different things. Your health. Seven of Wands. Yeah. I get you may still have feelings for this person, but you're trying not to think about them. You're trying not to focus on it at all. If they do reach out, because they could be reaching out with the Seven of Wands showing up, you may not be responding to them, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do try to reach out in some way. Send a message, ask you something, you know, they need directions. They're going to ask, hey, did I leave my jacket in your car or at your home or whatever, or something silly. Seven of Swords, even if you haven't seen them in like six months, they're going to be like asking, I get something out of the blue. They may go by where you go because seven of swords, three of coins could be, because three of coins is like, this could be a lot of different places. It's out in public though. So they could be trying to be there at the same time you are. And it could be online too in public, something like that. You're in the same chat. You're in the same, you know, you could be watching a tarot reader and be, you know, live and, and be in the same area. So it could be in person, it could be online, something like that. But I get like they're trying to be at the same place you're, you are. But how is this person really feeling, though? Because I'm getting, they're actually disappointed right now, sad. Like, things have definitely changed here. I just saw you go by when I was going to see you. Okay, you have justice behind you. What's coming is justice for you. Okay. Yeah, how is this person really feeling? It could be an earth sign who's been acting like a player. Maybe they're seeing their ways. Hang man is right there. Okay, let's do it this way. I'm getting distracted. Okay, they're wondering about you. And they're missing you. Hermits always hit as a card of enlightenment. They're trying to figure out why you're not reaching out, what's changed. They, it's her, Hermit a lot of times reminds me of like being sad, even though I know he's not supposed to be sad. He's, you know, reflecting. He's on the mountain. They could be a Virgo, but I just kind of get like they're shocked and surprised that you are just not interested anymore. Or if you, even if you are, you're doing a good job of hiding it. You're not letting them see. What is this star card scent? What is coming in for you? I feel like there's something here special that could be showing up. Okay, you've been feeling out in the cold. 
disappointed the moon maybe you're feeling um you have been feeling emotional possibly with the moon energy but then you ace of swords so a message communication this could literally be about anything right it could be you know like i said like maybe you're gonna plan a vacation or go out with friends or you get some good news ace of swords it's a solid energy could it be from this person yeah but but that's gonna be beside the point this is something else something that well, there's an air sign here, Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is also my person who like gives a message. Some of you may not know. Like it could be like uh, someone from the bank who tells you, "Hey, by the way, we just put money in your account or something." Or good news is what I'm seeing here. Some of you may be meeting someone new. I wasn't even thinking. For some reason, I feel like you guys are not necessarily looking for a new love, but you could. This could be someone else who's a distraction, who's fun, but this is the old person who's like longing for you. Like, what are you doing? They're checking up every moment on your, you know, accounts, seeing what you're doing. Um, have you been active? Are you going out? Some of you are going to like, I get like um, the river or a lake or someplace, someplace where maybe there's a body of water or you're going to be on a boat or you're going to be around water or could be some, I know somebody here doesn't like water or you don't know how to swim. You hate the thought of that. So it could be something else. But it's like a getaway. All right. The um, energy is kind of waning. So this could also be the collective I did where the person is kind of waking up right now and going through a change, but they're not ready to like reach out quite yet. Okay. You have doing something risky or taking a chance. I kind of got that like the water thing, like something you don't like to do, but you're going to do it because all your friends are going. But all right. Well, just be careful. And because you have a secret admirer. Now, this might be what I'm seeing here because it came out kind of, you know, weird. Like maybe there is someone around you who has a crush on you, Pisces, who could tell you. I feel like they're not really your type, I'll be honest, but you might give them a chance, go out with them, you know, just that type of thing. I feel like you're just going to kind of be honest with them. I feel like they know you guys aren't really like a lot alike, but, you know, they really like you. All right, so you also have deep personal strength and peace that assures success, as I'm seeing here. So kind of, if you feel kind of like you're in a valley, like you have the low point, like things aren't getting better, you're at the bottom. So the only place up is, you know, only place to go is up. So don't get, you know, in your head too much and overthink things. Let me see what you should be focusing like right now. What the main, main thing is showing up for you out of this deck. What is it for Pisces, please? Thank you. Oh, you have change coming in. So... This can talk about change of anything. It, the card says residence, partner, career, job, home. You're restless, yeah, and you're in need of a change. And that is exactly what is coming your way. So it may not be something permanent if you don't want it to be permanent like this person. But it's definitely going to kind of shake things up and be interesting for you. It could be, again, a new goal. This combination right here, I do have to kind of point out, is someone who gets pregnant. This can be someone who's been trying for a while and is excited. So I know that won't apply for most of you but if you have been trying that is a that is so I don't know who who would be the father or who you know the mother whatever because but just FYI it could also be a family member sister I guess somebody maybe have a sister who finds out maybe you're celebrating that because you may be going to some sort of shower baby shower wedding shower it's uh it's also coming through what does Pisces need to know right now happiness new beginnings is under the deck so you will be feeling uh happier coming up here i think as we're rolling towards the end of july anything this past person they want to say something i will okay they want the past person's coming through again and they want me to focus on them before i leave okay this person feels like you two have a soul connection and they're scared pisces but they are doing some healing and they feel like this is actually true love okay I thought that the deck was going to say they're, they're uh, sad and disappointed, but I feel like they're trying to heal themselves or work through their feelings. They want to say something, but I don't even see the deck, which is kind of funny. What does this person want to say to you? Let me go to this one. What do they want to say to you, Pisces? They need to tell you the truth. So they have something on their chest they need to get off. They need to admit something to you or tell you something. Is it, is it something that we can know right now? In the reading, is there something here that we can tell us that they're in love with you? 
says, I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. Can you see? I'm sorry. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Well, no wonder. They're kind of frantic. They're kind of coming through the end of your reading a little frantic, like, hey, wait, hang on, hang on. I, I have something else I want to say, even though I know I've been playing games. Excuse me, Pisces, you're moving on, but I got to tell you something. I'm realizing that I'm in love. So tables have turned. Things have changed with this person, especially now that you're not focusing on them. And if you've gone, like I said, no contact, if you have, excuse me, I don't know why I'm so, I think it's my coffee. Uh, if you haven't been reaching out or anything like that, showing them any interest, it's really kind of thrown them. That is so, they might want to come in and fix this reach out page of cups. Make amends possibly. Message of truth, five of swords. I think if they see you out with somebody new, somebody else is definitely going to really shock them. I think it's going to also kind of bring up feelings they didn't know they had, like jealousy or sadness or insecurity. Something like that is also what I'm picking up there. So I'm getting also, if you like post pictures with you having fun with your friends, that's a good thing to do. They see that you, you know, you're having fun, you move on. Anything else in closing for Pisces? Any on a different, anything else? Higher powers at work here, trying to help you, trying to guide you, trying to keep this, um, like, I get like, they kind of keep you, want to keep you separate is actually what came through, what they're telling me that they're trying to do. They're also helping you sharpen your psychic skills, your third eye, your intuition is also being sharpening right now. Like they're helping you also, you know, trust your, in, your intuition, your gut. I was going to say gut, I hate saying that, but you know, trust your trust yourself. And there may be some chaos and conflict with this soulmate. But there's also community of friends or people that are fated for you to be part of. So I'm getting you being part of something, a new group of people, getting involved in a group. It could be even like working out, you know, going to a new class or um, community school, something like that. So I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Have a great week.